the time you were coming over to film. He thought you were coming yesterday. I was like, oh, he's coming tomorrow. And he just, he didn't hit me back today. Hopefully. You know where he lives like, I thought he lived on like 150th. He's like in like 200. He's like basically in the Bronx. He's all the way up there. His, uh, his mom's coming to visit tomorrow for like, there's like the pride parade tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that's what I've, that's okay. Wow. I was just talking to my mom and she's like, what are you doing tomorrow? Like Sunday. She's like, you want to go to the beach? I was like, it's off the fucking table. Like no doubt. Why? Well, because like, she was like, oh, are you going to be like recuperating? I don't know what I'm going to feel like oh, tomorrow. Yeah. But like if she was like, oh, I'll come in for like brunch or something. We can go around it here. Fine. But yeah. like beach, no. Absolutely not. Coney Island. That's what she All wanted. Day. She was like, I heard you like Action Bronson. He's like, he's going to be there. I was like, when? He's like, you're for your birthday, August 21st. I was like, fucking book it. Nice. So, yeah. When is a Bleacher concert that was postponed two years ago? September, I think. One ticket still mine? I have four. They're all still like. All mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can come. He can come. I assume I'd have like. Uh, <laughs> Start it up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Pain. <sighs> It's <laughs> fuck. You ready for this? Yeah, let me do it. It's Sunday. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. I'm speaking in a monotone voice As am very I. nicely. I don't think we've ever yelled on this show. We have. We've we've yelled plenty. Together? No. Have we yelled or have we laughed loudly? We've yelled at each other. Yeah, at each other? Like mean? Like angry? I don't think I haven't been angry at you since like fourth grade. <laughs> I didn't even know you in fourth exactly. grade. Exactly. All right, What's, what the fuck do you want? Dude, it is horrible in here. I feel good right now. I don't know, maybe because I haven't eaten and you're not going to feed me, so I'm ready. The big chicken drumsticks are outside. It's pouring. They're, They're probably gonna, all wet. This, <laughs> it's probably, what is this for? Do you know? I have no. I didn't even know what was happening until I walked outside my apartment today. I got so scared that I didn't press it, but you pressed it. I pressed it. Plus, we're like, why would you be so scared we're one minute in? Be cools. What, what brand is that? It seems like if it got wet, it would melt. Barney Cools. Nah, this shit feels like you're wearing a pillow. Oh, nice. You're wearing a cloud. I haven't seen it in a while. You're wearing silk. You're wearing skin. I I mean, te- technically. I am wearing skin. What the fuck are you talking about? I have no idea. Let's wake up. All right, let's wake up. A lot of, lot of plant game here. I kind of like the ambiance. That little vine snake Yeah, we don't, we don't fuck the game up. Just I have to like get four more plants flies. in my shit now. I mean, now they have somewhere else to hang out rather than right in the middle of our room. Touche. It's, yeah. it's coming along. You guys think you're finished? or You like the table? Have you seen the table? I mean, not in it. person. Not in person. It looks a lot better now. It does nothing for the podcast. No, it doesn't. Um, but it helps us clear things out. And now we just have that one chair left. What happened to the fourth one? Didn't you have four? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I gave it to my mom. <laughs> We're going to get a big-ass plant also back there because the lamp... Is uh, just, we've never used that. I want to get a big one, like six foot tall one. Are you guys going to get kicked out of this apartment or like what? Tree. How you guys been doing the last two weeks? Uh, Same old, got to keep getting texts about thumping and thrashing, even though we're not doing it. At this point, it's like every time we make a noise, she thinks we're like doing something. That's out of control. But we've put, the basketball hoop's been gone since like the time we put it away. Uh, we haven't had people over. Um, She just, I don't know, she just keeps yelling. I'm just like, there's nothing else we can do. <laughs> We've done but all we when could. When she sees you not in the apartment, is she nice or is it still like? I haven't seen her like since we've been yelling at it. You know what I've realized too? The one time, so I've told you like the cops have come a few times. I she, thought only once. So she filed a noise complaint one time. The cops didn't come that time, but she filed a, uh, a public noise complaint, whatever, to NYPD. They didn't come. We had people over like having a party. They came to that. Later that night, it was like 3 a.m. I was sleeping. Um... I wake up, TJ wakes me up while I'm in bed. He's like, you got to come out. I don't know if I, have I told you about no. this? He's like, yo, you got to come out. The cops are here and they need to like see your face or whatever to like confirm it's your guys' apartment. So I come out, I'm like naked. I'm just in my underwear and I like pop my head out. I'm like, what, what is going on? The cops like, you're fine. Don't worry. I just need to like see you were in here or whatever. Um, And I'm thinking that TJ got home from the bar, it's like 3.30, and he's like making noise, just being an idiot, right? And yeah. then she calls the police on them. TJ tells me the next morning he wasn't here. He had walked up the stairs into our apartment while the cops were already in our apartment. So I'm like, yo. Th- How did they get in? I'm pretty sure she called the police because she was with them, behind them, I think, on the stairs, and just told them that like there was thieves or something in our apartment just so they can like come in. I'm like, bro, this is like out of control to a new level. 
I didn't know that that was the case. I just thought it was TJ did something stupid. What did the cops say? I don't know. They were just like, you have to make sure your door is locked. So that's why I'm like, they, she must have thought she must have called them and told them that there were thieves here or something. What? I'm like, what was the purpose of that? Oh my I don't. God. Yeah, like I don't really know what's going on with her anymore. She's just out of control. But it is it is a fun conversation to bring up with like everyone that I meet now. That's like, wild. Yeah. So she's just annoying. She's as just ever. like landlord from hell, huh? Yeah, I've never like dealt with anything like this before. Damn. Yeah. It just must. Does it suck knowing that like after a year you're leaving this place? Uh. I don't know if it, it doesn't like really feel settled in yet. So it's hard to like get an attachment to it, you know? Yeah. Looks nice though. Yeah. It's like, it's definitely getting there compared to where it was. I just, I, f I still feel like that beanbag is just useless. It's <laughs> big useless. I just like lay on it after a meal and then get up. Yeah. That's what everyone does. Like when you just don't know what to do, you just like flop onto the beanbag. All right. All right time to go. I can't believe on a Saturday night, we're about to watch Fast and Furious 9 in theaters. When he told me that. He told me the idea first. So, like, tonight we're going to our friend's birthday in Brooklyn, renting out this place called, like, the Alamo Theater. And it's, like, one of those theaters where you can, like, bring a big-ass group of people. They'll serve you, like, drinks and food and shit. Um, and he told me, I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool idea, actually. Like, I'm excited. And he's like, yeah, we're seeing F9. And I was like, I was like, is that, like, I don't know what that was when he said that at first. I thought, like, I don't know. I thought it was, like, typo or some shit. So I typed in F9 and I saw Fast and Furious sign. I was like... You gotta be fucking kidding. Is he like a fan or he thought it would be funny to watch it? I, I think it was more just like, oh, that's probably like the most fun movie in the movie theaters at the time, you know? Maybe he is a fan. I haven't seen like the last five. Same. I, I stopped after Paul Walker died. Like, I I thought I saw so many of them and I still haven't seen the last no, five. No, I think I saw Fast Five was the last one I saw. I feel like we saw it in theaters probably. No. Like 10 years. Like I don't think school. I've ever been into the theater for Fast and Furious. And I think uh, that's surprising not. for you to think about me because I... you've. I feel like you would think I was a huge fan. 100%. Like, I almost, I feel like we saw them every year together. <laughs> no, I, I haven't seen any of them in theater, so um, I don't even know what I feel about this. Yeah. I might fall asleep. That's fine. What do you think? We're just going to get rowdy and just, like, start fucking I feel up. like it might get rowdy. I feel that's like it's going to be fun. Yeah. I don't know who's going. Uh, Wilson Wawa, obviously. I think James is going to be there. Oh, nice. Um, maybe hard. I, don't, I have no fucking idea. And I don't know what the plan is, like, afterwards, either. You going to bed? Nah. <laughs> There's, like, five options. Yeah, that's None nice. of them include bed. <laughs> Damn, I'm scared. It's gonna be sick. I'm frightened. Uh, yeah, so that should be fun. Um, what else we got going on? Um, personal life. I, I did hibachi for Father's Day. That Dude, was, I saw that. It was sick. That was awesome. It looked good. I burned my hand though. Did you? A little drop lid right there. Yeah. Yeah. But it was fun. My dad like actually like had no complaints and was like super happy. But I sprayed him with sake like all over his eyeballs. Like he couldn't see. I mean, that was a given. Like, we knew that show was gonna <laughs> he happen. wants me to do it because, like, we're having his birthday party July third, and he wants to, we're like having like a cookout and whatnot. Do it again? Yeah. And I'm Just like, <laughs> oh, okay. He's like, I'm bringing my jacket out. Like he's. Like, oh, I love that. And I'm like, he just are he we like Loki just wants to bond with you. Yeah. He does. I don't think he knows it, but he does. No, he no, he definitely knows it. Um, that, and that that's been a big problem my last two years of like even my career wise because. It's never been like he played hard to get for the first twenty five years, and now it's you flip the. I mean, this is like relationship one on one. As soon yeah. as he can't have you, then he wants you. Yeah, and it, up. and it sucks because you know they've been gonna gonna move to Florida forever, and now it's it's coming. It's like here, they're already like about to put the house up. Like you know, he's he's retiring next year. Are we buying the house? He asked me to, <laughs> and I was like, absolutely not. And then what's um, that go for? Actually, you don't have to put that. Out there. I Whatever. think like four four fifty. Yeah, for that shithole. Damn. <laughs> yeah. For that garbage. I mean, it was probably like two fifty before the power wash you gave it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but like for the last year, I think I've already spoke about this. It's it's been tough because I work weekends and when I am off, I try to give my time to Heather because she I'm I'm just always sleeping or working. Yeah. And then I give it to Heather and then I don't give anything to my parents. And when I go to Florida, I'm what? I'm gonna miss every holiday and not see them and then like they always say, What what they got? Twenty top summers left? It's tough to tr come to terms in uh The good thing about moving to Florida is that it's if you have 20 summers left, now you got 80 summers left. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I love that. That was a good man. Yeah, it was good. That was sick. So I, I, that's why I've been trying to figure out my career moves. And I think I just told you so right now. now. You got, now you got some. I got two now you finally got some options. I got two options. I'm not really going to get into it fully just because I don't, like you said, don't know who's watching. It's in the company. But, um... Yeah, I'm excited. This is the first time in a while that... Uh, so are both these career moves... Um, one is the next step, the natural next step. The other one is just like 
you said you could play in the NBA. Like, someone believed you from one highlight tape. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. But that, I can do so it. So that's like a big jump. A big jump. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and if I... I can do it. I'm not like... It's not concerning because I could bullshit my way f- for the interviews. And I, 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 and I know I can do the job. It's one of those jobs where, like, I can do it, but on paper it doesn't look like I could. Okay. But I've been there before. Like also but job. I've been there before. I, this is how I got my position now. Everyone, like, just wrote me off because of the title I had. And it's such bullshit because titles matter so much. But I was like, just put me in a room so I can interview, and then you're going to like me. And then they did. And that's so where I feel it with girls. They see me, and they're like, eh, 5'10". Like, put me in the fucking room, guy. Really? I feel like you're a pretty strapping young fellow. Maybe. Maybe like, I just have, like, a really bad vision of myself. Do you think you're ugly? No, I don't think I'm uh, ugly. Like, I think I'm ugly. <laughs> I think you're ugly too. Fuck. <laughs> I wanted. Um, I wanted to feel good. That's cool. That's exciting. That's something to, to like look forward to. Yeah. How long, wait, how, when did these opportunities come up? Like very recently. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Like within like the last probably since I saw you. When is when are you gonna know? Uh, probably next week I'll have like interviews lined up, and then probably after July Fourth have the interview hopefully, and then hopefully in July we 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 know where I stand. Let's go. It's almost yeah. July. Yeah. Summer's here. I'm just like really here. And Heather's applying, uh, and she has some good, both in the city. Let's go. Good opportunities. Let's go. If we both get a good job, we're going to have some, we're going to have some, we might, we might kick TJ out. Bro. You, and you out. You can kick me out. Yeah. I'll, I'll sleep on the couch. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, but we're excited. It's, uh, it's nice to see, uh, she deserves it. Like I always said, she's a smarter one. She has her MBA and like, she's, you know what sucks about people in general? Like you just said, like you don't give yourself yeah, yeah. enough credit on your looks. Like people don't give them enough credit on their work ethic. And she's like, they said it's a really fast paced job. I'm like, dude, you partied, did your MBA, like studied and had a full time job. Like this shit is not hard. You yeah. just need to start focusing and people don't give themselves enough credit. Work ethic's like literally the most underrated human characteristic in the world. Yeah. I truly fucking believe that. And I was thinking about like, like the, I was watching uh, Dog Days, whatever you guys fucking bullshit call it. TJ, AK, <laughs> Tony, AKA just filming for five minutes and yeah. posting it. But, uh, the one today? Yeah. Today, that was all, I think I filmed all of that. That's except so for the funny. one that he did, yeah. But it's like, your work ethic is crazy. Like, I don't think you realize it. Like, you work on the weekends, like you work, like I bitch because I have a commute, but you don't have a commute, but you just work all day. And you have to force yourself. That's the crazy. Like, I don't think my work ethic, From that's why I always said I couldn't be the one number one guy, because if I had to do it myself, I wouldn't do it. I need someone to like, Pat me on the shoulder, be like, "You're doing well, kid. You're doing good." And I need that. That that's what motivates me. Yeah. I don't even think my work ethic is what it used to be. To be honest, I think uh, I think I've eliminated. It's hard to have a really strong work ethic when like you still have a lot of negative energy from other things like zapping you. You know, yeah. I've eliminated most of the things that would make like my outside world uh, would make me not want to work as hard as I do now. What do you mean? Like the commute, like having a time structure, like. Um, I don't know, just like cutting people out of my life that just don't feed me or don't give me positive energy, you know? So it's like I've I've slowly cut things out of my life that I didn't care for, that I don't value. So now it's like all the only thing I have to focus on is work. And it's like if I'm mad at something else, then it's going to affect my work. But I feel mm-hmm. like most of the things that I get mad or upset about, I've done a good job of like slowly transitioning out of. You know what I mean? Does that make no, sense? I get, no, I think that makes sense. I mean, we've talked about this before you cutting people like things off, but you might've done a little too much where you're not following up on people. You should, I think not me. I don't You're saying that like right now. Huh? You're saying that it's just something specific. I mean, nothing we need to get into. Not now with me, but I think, I know. yeah, you need to start reaching out, you know, a little bit more to family. To family. Yeah. Like Kelly. Yeah. Oh, she actually just texted me. Nice. Like that's weird. I, this, that wasn't pre-planned like 30 minutes ago. It was about work, though. Yeah. But, like, I feel like, do you guys only text about work? Do you guys ever, like, text? Nah, I, uh, I think I asked her what she was doing, like, last weekend or something. You asked what she's doing, not how she's doing. You're right. <laughs> Bang! That was good. Speaking of, actually, uh, well, two calls I got on today that yeah. were, I don't know if they're interesting, but worthy of uh, bringing up, I guess. Um, one, the guy who just called me right now yeah. is... The draft board company that we worked with last summer, Draft Now, really, really randomly. Like, he he emailed me a couple weeks ago, and I forgot to get back to him until, like, two days ago. But I had, like, fucking seven people comment 
when I was going to start working with them again. And my, I legitimately, I didn't get any comments about them for a long time. And then all of a sudden after he emailed me, I got a bunch and I was like, it was just cause this guy like really started a burner account to like, I was like, I respect it. Fuck it. Um, don't think it was that. I got him emailed. I emailed him back and then he just called me and I was, that's why I was like weird on the phone. Cause I was like, we didn't set up a call or anything. It was just like, Oh yo, like, uh, you know, do you have time like next week or whatever? Let's set up a call. And then he just randomly called me right now. Okay. And I forgot that's like kind of how we worked mm -hmm. working with him last uh, summer. So we're probably going to run back whatever we had last year, uh, which was like a good deal. They have a good product. Um, I tried to work with the company that got on Shark Tank, Fantasy Champs, I think. Okay. They're like a really good company. Really like they have every product you could want for fantasy. Like I saw, every, I remember seeing like, all know, customized shit. Yeah. yeah, like belts, rings, like all really cool shit, like high quality. And I'm like, this would actually be perfect because we play in so many like actual leagues and stuff that we can customize stuff for. Uh, I ended up getting in touch with them and talked with them for a while, but they were like, oh, we're only doing uh, like a commission based kind of partnership. And I was like, I don't really want to do that. They're like, oh, we'll give you 10% or 15% of all the sales that you make. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't really want to be like pushy with that. I wanted to be able to like incorporate it well. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're not, we're not working with them, but we'll work with Draft now. Um, so that's good. Uh, and then Noah texted me today. Bank. Uh, FB God. Okay. Uh, and he was like, yo, can we get on a call this week? Yeah. And I was like, ooh, this feels like when your girlfriend is like, yo, I need to talk to you about yeah. something. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's what I thought you were bringing up or something. Like you had talked to him. Or no, I haven't talked to Noah ever. Uh, okay, <laughs> fair. Uh, and I was like, yeah, sure. I'm free now if you want to get on a call or whatever. So we did. And he was like, um, uh, you probably noticed that over the last few weeks or last month or whatever, like I haven't really been putting too much content up on the channel. Um, have you, did you not like very directly? I did notice that it was a little bit like yeah. flaky or whatever, but I've been so focused on my content that yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I told you in the beginning of summer, like my focus is going to be my shit. Like everybody else can do what they want to do if they want to continue mm -hmm. to fucking ride up. And it wasn't like anything, you know, negative in that sense, but, um, he was like, yeah, I, you know, I just didn't want you to feel like I was trying to phase my way out or anything. It was more like a preventative call because you know yeah. how Noah is with that. He's yeah, like, yeah, his yeah. intentions are really well. And I was like, no, I didn't really notice. But he was like, um, you know, I have been a little bit less passionate, especially about the fantasy stuff. I've been a lot more focused on my, like, actual life. Mm -hmm. um, he just started, like, a real job for the first time this summer. Uh, he's, uh, he was getting back with a girl that he, like, really liked or whatever. And I was like, listen, man, um, he felt like he felt like it was like a responsibility to me that you know he stopped putting out content that he felt like he was like letting me down or letting the brand down or whatever. I was like, listen, at the end of the day, you're not you're not like I understand that I'm probably the thing that moves us forward anyways. Like you're not taking out money out of my pockets or anything, and yeah, maybe like indirectly in some way it is, but you know you, you were not on a contract. I don't like hire you full time, so all I can ask for you put so much work in over the last yeah. X number of years. There's no way I can ever get mad at you for you know feeling the way that you're feeling. You know, yeah, you're, he's probably burnt out at this point. One hundred percent. Yeah. So I was like. I was like, listen, like, it's not, you don't have to apologize to me or the brand or whatever. Um, but like, I want to remind you, this is a big time for growth. So this is like, this is going to be something that affects your personal brand if you decide not to do it, but it's totally like your choice. Mm -hmm. so I was like, you know, uh, let me, let me see if there's a way that I can help like squeeze out a little more ROI for you on your personal brand side without having to invest more time into it. So I was like, maybe we bring back like you and you and Mike can come back on my channel once a week for the bunk bed breakdowns thing uh, for the summer or something. So that helps you out a little bit. And it's only like one hour, one week, and you yeah. don't have to do the editing for it or whatever. Uh, so yeah. And then afterwards I texted him. I was just thinking about, it. I was like, I was like, yeah, like, let me think of, of ways that I can help you out a little bit. You think more about what you, like direction you want to go in and we'll circle back in a couple, a uh, couple days or whatever. And I texted him afterwards. I was like, don't beat yourself up. Just, just keep being a part of the community as much as you can. Uh, don't force yourself to make content if you don't want to and give yourself a break or some time off if you think it'll help. Cause yeah. you know, that's always been my number one concern is like putting people that I work with in a situation. I'll burn them out. Cause I've been there before. Right. And I don't want that to happen. To other Every people. single year. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, I basically put myself into his situation. I was like, do whatever you got to do right now. I'm focused on me. Um, focus on yourself, obviously. So, I don't know. That was... No, I get that. I mean, and he's so young, right out of college. He has a lot of decisions he needs to kind of make to direct his life. Like, anytime so you can offer someone a full-time job, that would be fantastic. Not there yet. Yeah. And who knows when that's going to happen. I think that's become more uh, realistic of thinking than, like, next year's our year, next year's our year. We'll yeah. just uh, keep on trucking along. But I think those conversations are super important to see where everyone's at. 
and seeing if who needs to measure what or who needs to do what because it's going to be tough. Like you said, it's going to be this year is going to be important for you, but maybe some other people it's not that important too, right? Or Yeah, I mean, it's it's just so difficult because like... It's hard to like... I don't even know what we need as a company in terms of... Do you feel less stuck, like, in, a, in a, the company sense? No, I or don't feel I don't feel stuck. I, I feel like I just don't know... I don't know the right next move. We're not ready to make the right next move, and I it's just, like, it's, like, a little bit of anxiety because I know we're not going to know the right next move until we're, like, there, like, in reach of what... Like, if it's, like, oh, we just... You know, someone gave me 100K tomorrow, and they're, like, okay, invest this right back into your business in a person. I'm just going to be, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing until I'm in that position. I'm like, okay, this is exactly what we need. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, there are just, you know, we've, I've said this before. There are just so few people like on the planet that can be like full-time content creators, you know, like literally just make a living by making content. Like, I don't even do that. Like I sell products around my content, but if I just stopped selling products or something, I wouldn't be able to, I don't, maybe I would, but I don't know if I'd be able to make a living just based on sponsors or based on YouTube AdSense or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? So it's like everybody involved in the brand right now is basically a content creator and, or like a video editor, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's tough. It's tough. And I'm like, you know, we started thinking about making more tools like dynasty tools and stuff. I, I don't know if you saw that on Twitter. We want to make a I few. saw like a link, like you guys were like, does anybody know? Yeah, like we want to like make, we want to make more tools that we can make into like products, like a trade calculator. Like a lot of people join our dynasty leagues and then they make trades and stuff and they're not really sure like how to value, like, oh, should I make this trade or not? And like a trade calculator would do absolute numbers for okay. us in terms of like selling it. But it's like, okay, damn, like do I invest into <laughs> like more content? Do I invest into someone who actually can make this nicer, yeah. you know? Um, I don't know. I'm just... I feel like you're in a... I think about this because I'm from the outside. Like, when I do this podcast, like, there's no point I'm looking for, like, a monetary gain, right? It's it's nice to come here, see you. This is... We see each other more now than ever, but also we need to, like, do other things, right? So, it's totally fine. We have a full-time job. But when... Where do you see the line where... Okay, now the editors are not getting paid full-time, but they have incentive now, right? Yeah. They're, they're doing the work. They're seeing money. But when does a content creator in this pl- like in I don't know? Space, I, it's, honest, it's not going to be like I actually think the fucked up part about it is like I love every one of those guys, but I almost think it's like one of those things where I won't have to think about it. It's just like oh, like this guy is the guy that I'm. You know what I yeah. mean? Like it's but not like, going to be like oh, or do they push the limit or whatever? It's just like like for instance, like Mike is yeah. like absolutely murdering shit right is now. He? Yeah, like yeah, really, really good. And I'm yeah. like, I there's no there's no thought process to it. It's like he is he is just straight fucking value into the, into the bank account of the business. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like, I don't know if it needs to feel right, but it just will be there. It'll be like, fuck, like this is the, the right investment, you know? And it's not saying like the, and anyone else is a wrong investment. It's just like when it's borderline, it's really tough to know if that's. No, it's a position where like, like right now, Mike is showing his value because it's like money. And also his growth is, it's coming. He's doing both. Yeah. So why wouldn't you invest in him? That would be a no-brainer. And right. then seeing, like, other content creators is probably a little harder because, it's like, I value you, but, like, right now the company has other, like, needs that need to get paid for first. Yeah, so, it's like I value you long-term. That's term. really tough being, like, the boss because you value, have to make those decisions. Right, like, you know? I value you long-term, but in order to get to long-term, we have to value the short-term. And how long know? can someone keep doing this, like... And I totally would understand if, like, yeah. so, if I was in their position, I'd be like, fuck this. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, how like, long would I last? It's so fucking hard. Yeah. And I was thinking about that. So I, I give, like, all the content creators on this team, like, such credit because they've been doing it for... I mean, I don't even know if you guys get, you give them small incentives or anything, but, like, yeah, pretty know. much we can say for free. Yeah. And how long can you do something for free? I don't really know what I do. The only thing I do for free is, like, Take a shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's why. That's why it's like a lot of it is passion led. A lot of it is just yeah. like the underlying belief in what you can't we're, go in this. What without, we're doing is just for for the money. Like no, I can't even. Not even close. Like that's and that's why I could never do this. I could never do this. If you're like, Steve, we're taking Y L on full time. Like nope. We just need uh, underdog to sell for like a billion bucks, and everybody's taken care a of. A billion bucks. It's insane. Nah. You have that much stock. <laughs> If they sell for that much, you don't need that much stock. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, I 
I listen, I feel like as much as all this stuff is kind of like looming over me as like a little bit of a cloud, the fact that I'm the fact that I'm fucking back on my bullshit, everything hey. else kind of feels fine. No, that's no, and I think that's exactly what you needed. Have you have you and Max talked any in any sort of capacity or No, we haven't. Um after that episode we like exchange something in either side text or group something. I don't remember what it was. It was like, we'll talk next week. And I honestly might've been like a YouTube comment. It was like, we'll talk next week. I saw that. Yeah, and yeah. then fade the public. Yeah. I think it was a YouTube comment and then fade the public that week ended up being someone in snacks is off office got like COVID. So he had to go. I don't, I don't know. We just didn't have fade the public that week. And then fade the public. They came this week and we just like, I don't know, just didn't talk about it. So I'm not really sure. You see, that's fucking fuck you, Max. Like, is that my fault? No, that's Max. Fuck you. <laughs> you had two weeks to just reach out. Oh, now I'm pissed. Yeah, I mean, I love I, yeah. someone in my office has COVID is work from home. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, I imagine he, he, he was like, uh, yeah, he had someone in his office caught COVID and uh, and then I, I understood like animals like, yeah, like if I somehow catch it, I need to pay for like medical bills. I'm fucked. And I was like, that's you can't even get a COVID test for free anymore. Really? Yeah. What? My uh, One of my employees went and she's like, they charged me $75. Damn. It's, yeah. I didn't know that. Now there's a new Delta variant. I'm like, dude. They got new variants and shit? I just put a mask on just today. Get a fucking vax. Yeah. <laughs> just get a fucking vax. Vax and wax, baby. Um, Speaking of paying content creators, there's a couple things I wanted to bring up. Call her daddy. Dude. She got paid. $60 million. Does she have a team or is that just like right to her? I mean, on Spotify, I'm sure she's gonna, but like, so, so she didn't fall off at all in her podcast when fuck, that chick left. No. Nah. So, and did, is that chick gonna get some money? Like, nah, not from like, that. Deal. You, no, do you think her podcast is no? Nah, it's trash. She's fraud. I mean, you could tell. Like, yeah, yeah. The, 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 she put the work in. The, yeah. And she edits her. it. Through, I didn't even realize that they'd been doing that for three straight years. I didn't know Call Her Daddy was three years old. I still feel like it's like a year old. Yeah. Kinda. Um, but yeah, dude, she did the work and, and like it paid off and she's also, someone said it was like, she's like the LeBron James of content creators. It's like when you're that talented, you put the work in like, of yeah, good shit's going to come. So like, it's cool. It's cool. I like Spotify, you know, they, they locked up, they made all the huge investments. Joe Rogan, uh, they just got, Daddy. um, Dak Shepard, I'm sure, uh, expert. oh really? Yeah. Damn. They probably gave him like 20 mil too. Probably you know? more. He's like pretty up there. I don't too. know what his number, I mean, call her daddy's like top, 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 yeah, top, yeah, yeah, top yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. If if she's not like LeBron, she's like no. He's like top for interviews. Like, I love yeah, his pod. Yeah. That's like my favorite pod outside Same. of some of the other ones. But like, welcome, 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 I mean, it just shows the trend. It's, it's like people are going to be like, oh, podcasting is like becoming a thing. It's like, no, bro. They just invest like $200 million already a fucking thing. How does this affect? So now do you think people are listening more to podcast and music? I'm like, because our, our rappers and like singers like, I want, where's my bag? You guys, Spotify's paying these fucking podcasters to be on here. What do I have to do to get money like that? It's an interesting thought. It can definitely, I think, predict the future of where these things are going to go rather than going to, uh, rather than going through a label. Maybe like Spotify becomes the label. Yeah, Maybe they're all independent artists and they're like, rather than. Exactly. Because yeah. like, what's the point of, because right now I can go Spotify and listen to J. Cole's, middle, I can listen to J. Cole's album, right? And it costs me, we have, we're on a family plan. What does it cost us? I don't think I pay for Spotify. In I was about like to say, I don't think Kelly's 13 charged. Months. Yeah. She's going like, to hit us with like a $92 yeah. <laughs> uh, we ain't paying. Venmo soon. <laughs> but you, you see that and they're just like, what the fuck? And now she gets $60 million in a bag. To sit in a in a in a studio and do whatever the fuck she wants. Yeah. So, um, I'm. This is very much like I've always said. This like cutting out the middleman is definitely the way to go as a business move. And like I think Spotify does that with this deal, and they'll probably start doing this with artists. Like think about how valuable that is to. I mean, it's like like with title. It's like when they were like, you can't listen to Jay Z's or Beyonce's album or whatever it is unless you have title. It's like. People that are fanatical fans. If you're if you're if you're good at what you do, you're gonna find the right talent. And what they do with Caller Daddy, yeah. which if you have loyal audiences, they're gonna follow you to those platforms. Well, you say you cut out the middleman. Now Spotify's becoming the middleman. Right. You cut out the middleman because you own the entire funnel now. But now they're just becoming like a monopoly of what these Correct. labels have done. So Correct. it's just like a new leader. Yes. Okay. If you're a business, you become yeah. Yeah. Wow. You know how hard that is? Like you, you just you're just like we're gonna wipe out the monopolies by becoming the monopoly. You, you know what makes me laugh about this too? Not laugh. Because it's literally like, I'm still poor. Yeah. But like. Like, look at these people. Like, look look how big Zoom is. Look how big Spotify is. Like, Pandora had such a head start. Fucking, what was that? 
we used to go on for just innovate, just yeah. innovate and, and innovate like, and innovate. There's one idea, but if you did not make it the best, you just don't survive. Yeah, that is that's, nuts. That's how people break up monopolies and shit. Just good products, talented. And they people. become the monopoly. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. Always, bro. It's always changing, especially in this world. It's so hard to stay on top. It's so fucking hard because people are smart as shit, and and like it doesn't take long for your idea to get out there, right? Like if you have a good idea, social media will get it to the audience. If you have a good idea. You can find money in five seconds for it because someone will be like, that's a cool idea. Let me fund you on that. You know what I mean? Everyone wants that quick hit of something. So it's like, it's quicker than ever to do anything. Do you ever, do you, did you ever watch Dave? I love that show. I, I know, I know what it is. Yeah, and I've I seen think it's it, fucking like, hilarious, but, but it's, it's, it's funny because they're saying how his end game has always been to get a TV show. So he used like his, his, his platform at first to be like a meme and it worked and then he's He's good at rapping at some capacity, and now he used rapping to get what he wants. And the show's good. Like, this year, it's, like, about, ex- like, more anxieties. Like, I'm getting anxiety watching it. He's doing a great job. Yeah. Like, feeling it, I'm like, dude, he he saw an opening and just was like, I'm going to do this by myself, figure it out. I'm sure he has a label, but, like, he just, like, it's crazy. That's you, just the way the world, the world yeah. is basically just, like, a sp- a fucking so my sucker like spinning I cycle. It's you're not like, a, you're I not just, a sucker, but it's just like someone. Uh, There's a couple of people over last night, and they were having a conversation about how they think like the financial world, like people that work at Goldman and people who work at those banks and stuff. Eventually, the employees there are they're almost going to be like freelancers, and I feel like the financial institutions are like the last people to catch on to like trendy trends, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like they're talking about, it. I'm like, you're basically just talking about the content game already. Like it's, a, we're already there. Like if you're a freelancer, you can just do what you want. And like, if you had a specific job at Goldman, like you're no longer going to be like the director of financial operations at Goldman. You're going to be a freelance director of financial operations. And you're going to do that for Goldman X, Y, Z. And that's, that's just the way that it's like titles won't matter. No, you just, titles <laughs> won't matter. You just build a platform to build a platform to get to wherever it is that you want to get to. You're just chiseling out little steps on the side of the fucking mountain. I see this, like, the green grass that you're painting, but also I see what comes with that is, like, you're you're a content creator and you have this life, or you're just, like, an Amazon worker. And there's going to be no in-between. I mean, maybe. But it is a very, very small percentage of people that are, like, um, that are like me, that, like, actually make a full-time living, like, creating content and shit. You know what I mean? Like the more, the more I've moved around New York, the more I've realized like Instagram is so fake. Like <laughs> Twitter is fake. Like you don't ever, how many, how often you meet people like me? And I don't mean that in like a cocky way, but like how often you'd be like, Oh, Oh, you're like a YouTuber full time. Like never. I'm not trying to be a dick to whoever watches I mean, I guess it, The only thing I've ever seen is like, like you said, like the models or the influencers and like you, she's here watching TV and, this table has more like depth than about? her, just like just uh, in general. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like they don't even bring. I'm telling like, like those people, these these things that we it's see, all fake. Like these things that we see 24 seven are just not real. They're not real. So it's such a small percentage. Today. This is too much. I'm having anxiety. We should. This is an anxiety inducing conversation. I think- Nothing that you because here. In, in are a you sense, real? In a sense, no, because. Nothing like okay. <laughs> What's happening? Your world is comprised of what you see ninety five percent of the time. Okay, and every time you open up your phone, which is ninety five percent of the time, what you like you do all day is of this fake shit. So you start to get this idea. Except for like, if you walk down Soho, actually, Instagram becomes a real. It's like, it's like a. It's like <laughs> a, a it's pocket. like a Disney like ride. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, a Disney should make like an Instagram ride and put it in the middle of fucking Soho. You feel like you're there. It's actually insane the amount of people that are so good looking. You walk down Soho. That's what everyone said. I don't ever go to Soho, but everyone's like, bro. Bro. Yeah, you want to talk Bro. about feeling insecure? It's like really actually like Soho's the worst place in the world to go to. I remember one time I was going to a store in Soho and people, it was like a busy street where people were like playing catch on the cobble, really? cobble, uh, cobble streets. They're all cobble streets. And then like just fresh mangoes everywhere and then big sundress hats. Yeah, and- you want to know, you want to know where people that take like Instagram influencer pictures are. There's like a few blocks. Like it's like Waverly, like a few of them are those cobble streets. You walk down, it's just 10 different people just like in front of doors, in front of graffiti. I'm like, yo, I hate this. So I'm going to fucking open up an Uzi right now and just <laughs> spin around in a fucking circle. That's how I play Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm about to cod this street. whole fucking street right now. So you um, don't go to Soho. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Like I, I'll go to Soho. Like if, if I, if there's something there, like they got good ass pizza in Soho, like Prince Street, fucking. Is this the fire. the new the new record label? Yes, Coco's. So, are you really just getting free coffee there every time you go there? <laughs> so, actually, <laughs> or did you go there? He goes. Well, I went the next day, and we like talked. We didn't like talk about it, 
but he like charged me for coffee and I was like too much of a bitch to like bring it up. I was like, okay. I went the next day though and I showed him the video of me talking about it and he's like, oh, okay, cool. And he gave me that coffee for free. Um, but the <laughs> but the owner hasn't, I haven't, I don't think I've been back there with him there since. And I'm not going to be like, go so up. So you're just paying for coffee, but you're promoting the Well, I've coffee? went twice. I've went twice. Once I okay. didn't, once I did. But I haven't gotten, we'll see what happens the third time if he's like, okay. I was like, I'm going to do it every day. You know? So you're just going to show him the video or you got to tell him he needs to make you a card. Yeah, like that's true. Yeah, make me a, like card. a ticket card or something. Because yeah. I, mean, I don't want to say it to the employees while he's not there. Yeah. Be like, I'm, you know, like I promote you guys. Actually, I probably could just say that. They'd be like, what a douche. Yeah, yeah that's why I don't want to <laughs> say some shit. I feel you because the other, I think I don't know if I said this story to you. Me and Heather went. I got pizza preemptively before we went out, so at night, so she can eat and not bother me. I got three slices, you know. So I didn't even look. I got it. Went upstairs, whatever. Put it down. Got the Uber. We went out. And then we came home, I'm like, I got you a surprise, right? Fucking missed me a slice. I paid for three and he gave me two. I was pissed. But she, like, wouldn't let me come back the next day. She's like, you know how fucking fat you're going to sound? Be like, you guys missed a slice mm. of pizza. I'm like, but I, I paid, like, $8. Uh, and I was like, I'm such a bitch. And I, like, went in there and I'm like, I'm going to do it. This little girl's like, how can I help you? I'm like, can I get two slices, please? Like, I, I couldn't do it. I was thinking about this because I was out to dinner with my mom last week. And uh, I am so against, like, public confrontation. Yeah. Especially when it comes to, like, anything, like, retail-ish, yeah. you know? I'm so, that's just so not me. And I think it was because my mom, growing up, like, was very, uh, okay. I feel like all moms are. Like, I hated going out with you when we were younger. Because my mom would do some no, shit? No, you. What do you mean? Like, we would go to Applebee's, you'd be like, let's run. I'm like, no, nah, dude, <laughs> like, this person's a waiter, they need this. We're like, we're going to run. I'm like, they're going to have to pay for it. You're like, fuck them. <laughs> I always wanted to do a dine and dash yeah, when I was younger. You'd make me uncomfortable. None of you guys ever wanted to because do it. Because this person would have to pay for it. I get it now. Yeah, you don't have to explain it to me now. You're an but asshole. I want, but I wanted to do it. I really hated bad. you. <laughs> Just one time would have satisfied my entire life's All right, queue. One it. day when it's your birthday, I'm going to pay, preemptively pay, so then we could run. I wouldn't do it now. You won't I can know. barely run anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can pay for it. It's fine. My mom, I was like, my mom used to be fine with like public confrontation. If if, if it was like something I didn't she's like, a bad, she's a bad, yeah. bad lady. That's she's, what I mean. She'd be like, she's fierce. Sister, you did this for my son, and that used to make me so uncomfortable. So that I think that was the reason that I'm like so against it now. You know, I was just thinking about like sub, a subconscious thing. My dad was like a bargainer, and I would, like hated it. He'd be like, the guy's giving him like a fair price, and he'd be like, I got five. So can on you? Bar it. Would you bar like if we went out on the street thing? Are you gonna bargain for that chicken wing no, we get? I can't do it. I'm like, yeah. like my dad's all about I could the bargain. best deal. I could do that. I can't. Because I, I could bargain. I can't me, like. I remember seeing their faces like I hate this guy, and that's what ingrained me to be like I don't want to be that guy. And you're like that with your mom like. You thought they hated, it. and they, they probably didn't. And then, yeah. is, now we have now problems. we have problems. <laughs> now we need to see a therapist about it. Any so. other uh, personal problems um, recently? <laughs> that I I don't you know haven't really talked to you, so no idea about your personal life. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't think I want it. No, you don't uh, want to get in this. Not really. Um. The reason is not because I think I'm. <sighs> what about service level about you? We don't need to talk about it. I feel, I think the reason I don't want to talk about it is because I feel weirdly good. Yeah. And you know me, like when, when I go through situations like this, I'm the opposite. I'm like extremely uh, depressed, extremely like heartbroken. In a way, you know, like, and I, I can I tell you why I don't think you are this time. Well, here I don't want to go into detail. Like, I don't want to talk about. We could talk about it off camera because I think I know why. Oh well, I, yeah, okay. So this is weird now. Yeah, this is a dumb conversation. That's why I, I know you like laid the groundwork for me if I wanted to talk about, it, but yeah. I, I don't. I'd rather talk with you personally, but not on this. Only because I don't think I can give a lot of like value about it because I'm not like I'm not super like raw. I think that's what it comes. I'm not like raw and emotional about it. So I don't think like yeah, yeah, yeah. what I would talk about would be um, not a riveting conversation. It's not like the point of it, but you know what I'm saying? Kinda. I get you. Um, I did want to ask, do we try to pull off the draft weekend? There's not a lot of time, but it's not a lot of time. Um, things are wide open, wide open. 
I mean, we would definitely have to start making reservations ASAP. So yeah. you need to tell me ASAP well, on was, that. I need to. Uh, I wanted to ask you and see what your thoughts are. Like, I'm okay. Have I'm, you talked to the team? Like, no, are they? I'm 50 50 on it. I haven't posted anything about it. Honestly, at this point, since it's late, I don't, we definitely wouldn't get the full league back, but I'd be able to fill it with other subs, with other subscribers, the NYC. Yeah. Right? So it's just. It'll be tough, but I think we could pull it off. It'll be tough. Like, we can do it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, probably down to do it. Okay. What weekend would that be? Is that the last weekend of August? Uh, I'd have to get back to I mean, it's usually my birthday weekend, but it would depend on when the NFL season kicks off. It would probably be almost... When, when, well, when's Jess's wedding? The, it's the 11th? First, her wedding's the 11th. No, that's a Saturday. Uh, Is it on Saturday? The 12th, maybe? Her wedding's on a Sunday. Yeah. Uh oh. Maybe it's the yeah. 12th. Yeah, you're good. Well, we we're are, but done. just don't walk in front of the camera. Well, her wedding's the 12th. Did you steal a craft? You take that from citizens? Yeah. Did you borrow it? Nice. Hey, are you serious? And they let you just walk out with it? Yeah, I mean, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. What do you mean, kind of? They either did or they didn't. They straight up allowed him to take it. Oh, sick. Like, Thank like, you for like, clearing that up. Like, I don't know why that was so <laughs> difficult. <laughs> he wanted to sound badass. Yeah. Like, yeah, I told him. <laughs> I love that. Nice. It's awesome. I'm sure you'll you'll probably be there. Yeah, you'll probably be there again later today. Uh, so if her wedding's on the 12th, that's the first weekend of the NFL. That's a, that's week one of the NFL, which means we would have we'd be doing either September 5th, um, which is Labor Day, so we wouldn't be doing it. That we'd be doing it two weeks before, so it'd be the 27th to the 29th. Run it. Yeah, you could do it. I just need it. We I, need to make like a decision though, because we need to go. We're either all in or all out on it. I we can't have. I could be right all now. in. I could be all in. I could. Right, do it. I gotta I script could, up a message for the boys and see if we can pull it off. Yeah, pull it off. Let me know the budget so then we can start working on it. That's what we need to That's know. The other what thing we the, need to. We need to know okay, the budget. So, so how do we do this, money wise? <sighs> so do I just straight up up the price big time. Here's the here's the thing. It's like I need to up the price. Also, like Mike has been in the league for. The I'm just thinking out loud right now. I haven't thought about any of this. Yeah. Some of this might come off poorly. But, like, Mike has been in the league for two years. Uh, like, Snacks has had a spot. I have a spot. If we up the price, that's going to be missing out on, like, almost 4,500 five, five Gs. Okay. So, I, I would say, what if you take them out? I'm thinking that, and too. You take I them take, out, but they're there for the but weekend. But I let them have, yeah, like, that's exactly out, what I was like, thinking, too. Like, you you're know, not in the league, but, like, I'll fly, yeah, I'll yeah, fly you out for the yes, weekend. Yes, and I think, that's, I think that's the natural progression of it. I don't know. Mike's a good guy to be have in a league. I, I think so, too. But, like, take, isn't Max, is Max in it? Is no, Max he's never it? been in it. So, like. Snacks has been in it. I mean, Snacks busy, too, so who knows if he can even do, he, he, he He always just came to the draft. Remember? Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, he would pay the buy in the $200 buy Yeah, so I don't think, I think he should just be out. Because Mike likes to go so those, those guys will come in and, and hang out regard or the rest of the guys will probably come in and hang out regardless so we could do that um is there airbnb restrictions right now no no they're, they're no? all good to go so we just need to find a good airbnb what's awesome now because i've been in a city i know like the food what food connections we need i could do that costco run yeah and then, I mean, uh, we're in the heart of it right now too, yeah so like we can bring we could buy shit for here exactly. store it we Which don't have to like great. bring a truck in to fucking yeah. move it okay i mean i don't have a car so this will be, be this will be i easier. think it might be easier now i think oh, I mean, 100% yeah. be easier i still now. have my notes <laughs> from last from yeah, two years in my ago phone. i look at it every year so and they're, they're good they're real good i feel like they're so bad probably. so bad okay. but we and like you know yeah you up the price a little bit if they can do it we gotta talk to them see what the natural like what they say i can't no here's the thing i can't ask them if i can up the price I, I could up the price for them and be like, it was a thousand the first year, twelve hundred the but second keep year. Keep the buy-in the same. The, yeah, the buy-in, whatever. Yeah, the buy-in will be two two hundred or two fifty, whatever. Well, it is. we we already know we're not making a profit. Yeah. So. But you don't want to lose money again. We're so so what I could do though, I could raise the price a little bit for them and then make it expensive for the rest of the, like basically okay. So we had year one, everyone paid I think a thousand. Year two, I was like, if you're renewing into the league. Your grand, you were grandfathered in a thousand newcomers pay twelve, so I could do that again, but be like if you're in it, fifteen, and if you haven't been in it too, yeah, is that think, too much? No, every time I have prices on something, it don't, it always feels like I'm overcharging. Like oh, people aren't going to want to do this. Like no one's going to want to pay for that. I mean, it's a weekend in a city, and we usually like put everything on our back. Yeah, yeah. Like realistically, if I was an outside party, I'd be like, yeah, run that. But like I don't know, it's just you know that that's a, that's a natural like, if feeling that's you have the prices that they seller. say, they, that's the price they say. 
then then we just have to bring the noise then. You know, then we have to live up to that oh, we price will, point. Sure. So that's Obviously it. by like 1130. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know I could physically survive that weekend anymore. We can. I'm not going to be there, but we can. I'm not going to shit. Who's, who's going to be there? <laughs> Snacks is running this nah, shit. No, we got it. We can do this. Let's, let's fucking go. It's going to be, everybody wants to come into the city. And it's going to be a great time. All right. Let's fucking go. Okay. Let's end it. On three what? You're the captain. You said what? Oh, okay. One, two, three. What? Ersh. Why are you yelling? <laughs>